What if cornering actually cooled down the tyres? Well, to find out, I'm jumping on F1 2020 and I've modified it to basically invert the effect of cornering on the tyre temps. Now, this one took about two hours. It took a bit of, it took a bit of doing this one. There's a lot of playing around with lots of different figures, but eventually I figured it out. And yes, cornering cools down the tyres. It's as simple as that, really. It's, it works exactly the same as it would normally, just in reverse. So the slower speed corners don't cool it as much. The higher speed corners really do cool the tyres down quickly. I've left the res rolling resistance the same, though. So when we're driving in a straight line without putting any load through the tyres, they should kind of warm up a bit effectively that they'll kind of settle down to a point which i think is about 80 degrees or so is the point they settle down without any cornering but then as soon as they start cornering they'll start cooling down again we're gonna be on spain barcelona it is a very high low track on the uh, tires so this could be an interesting one don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already let's get into the video so here we go then in the mercedes to give my, myself the best possible chance let's get the uh tire temp screen up straight we're gonna have to try and Get a reasonable start without spinning the tyres. That was okay. We immediately lost some temperature. But uh, after after we got underway, it wasn't so bad. And you can see the tyres start to warm up now. Well, now we've got some rolling resistance on the go. They start to warm up. But as soon as we start cornering as well, they're going to start to cool down. Look at that front left. Particularly for this next turn. Watch the front left. That is going to dive in temperature. Look at it. Just going down and down. 40 degrees. 35 degrees. Of course, we do lose grip as well, the colder the tyre gets. I will say, though, we are choosing the game's kind of built-in numbers for that sort of thing. Um, so, actually, the, the minimal temperature that is going to make any difference is about 55 degrees Celsius. Um, once, you, once you reach that or below, there's no difference. So, it could be 55 degrees Celsius or it could be minus 476 degrees Celsius. It's going to make no difference. That's, of course, in the game. You know... I, I can't figure out what Pirellis would do if they were minus 50 degrees, so I've not even tried to do that. I've just used the game's figures. But for now, we're not doing too bad. We're keeping them warm enough. When you're about 80 degrees, you've got maximum grip. So for as long as they're around 80, they're not doing too bad. And this final set doesn't put a huge amount of load through the tyres. Got to be careful, of course, with wheel spin. This corner, though, is going to put some load through. You can see him just cooling down once again, down to 40 degrees. That's pretty cold. And uh, I will say as well, in this game, I said the minimum temperature that makes a difference is 55 degrees. Um, that gives you about 6% less grip than what you would normally get. Again, not realistic, I wouldn't have thought. But, of course, this game is designed to, to work for the majority of people. Um, and, you know, give everyone a bit of leeway because, you know, if there's a new new player coming in and somehow made their tyres that cold, they don't want to punish them by giving them 10% grip. They're still going to give them 90% grip, which I think is fair. Um, but obviously, I, that's not something I was able to really adjust because I don't know the figures. Anyway, we're doing okay. We're doing better than I thought. It's this corner that's particularly savage. I see you backing off there to try and keep it warm. It didn't go too cold, though, interestingly. Still was 40 degrees. We definitely lost that 6% grip. Then it quite quickly comes back. Again, just understeering. I will say as well, the AI don't... Uh, follow the same tyre temperature rules as the player so that AI will not be getting cold tyres like I am. They will have nice, toasty, perfect temperature tyres. That is just uh, the way that AI works in this game. They don't simulate tyre wear. Oh, we accidentally left overtake mode on. That is going to leave us be a sitting duck through this corner. We're going to have to back off a little bit. Oh, we? yes, we are. Oh, a bit of understeer. We got through it. Better was going to attack us now, I suspect. We're okay. We're okay. He didn't attack too much. And uh, we got away with that one, making sure I was on rich fuel as well. Oh, standard fuel, so not burning my fuel away. And uh, interestingly then, this game internally works in Kelvin, which is why you may have seen, uh, if you, particularly if you follow any of the F1 community on Twitter, you would have seen various memes popping up about uh, people hitting minus 274 degrees Celsius, I think it is, um, very suddenly, uh, down to 30 degrees for that corner. Need to let it warm up for long this straight, but we're in a bit of a sitting gut duck here to Sebastian Vettel. Going to use some overtake ERS to see if we can make up for some of that. Going to try going his outside, but I think we're going to need a bit of luck with that. Tyres now nicely up to temperature again, but they're going to cool down. Oh, a bit of contact there. I squeezed a bit much, really, but we managed to stay ahead just about. And uh, you can see that along that straight, they were able to warm right back up. Through this corner, though, cooling back down again. And yes, so the game uses Kelvin internally. Um, don't really know why. I don't, also really don't really know why Kelvin exists. It's just, I think Kelvin's just minus 274 from the Celsius number. It's odd. Anyway. Uh, that is why you see uh, some people when they have, have had the glitch, there is a glitch in this game where they are very occasionally, uh, well, the tyres will just go to, to what is zero Kelvin, which explains, the, oh no, <laughs> a bit of honesty there, not concentrating hard enough, Albon's having a go at us. And um, yes, yeah, so, so for some reason, obviously there's a glitch inside the game somewhere that makes it go zero Kelvin, which is why you've seen people, well, very late defence there, which is why you've seen people uh, have minus 274, I think it is, uh, Celsius on their monitor. Anyway, enough about that glitch, because this is, uh, well, this is breaking the laws of physics, what we're doing here. This isn't a glitch. Get understeer here, just that front left. Oh, bit of oversteer there. Snap of oversteer with the cold rears, because they are being punished a little bit. 
And uh, I've not actually managed to go to minus temperatures just yet. I've been quite kind to the tyres. Bit of understeer through here, though. Let's try and see if we can pull away from them. Actually, Vettel's got past Albon at some point. Decent effects there. Look at those tyre temperatures coming up once again. I will say as well, I have switched off the carcass simulation. So the only thing we're simulating is the uh, outer of the tyre. The inner of the tyre isn't simulated just because it just adds too much complication. Um, that's basically will slowly follow the temperature of the outer. Um, but of course, you know, through here, we'll be cooling the carcass down and the straight's not long enough for the carcass to warm back up again. So I just thought, you know what, take that out. And uh, I'm gesticulating a lot of my hands in this video for some reason. I'm not really... Don't need my hands on the steering wheel, apparently, for this video. Don't need both hands on the steering wheel. Uh, I probably need at least one hand on the steering wheel, or do I? Uh, <laughs> not, all, not all times. Uh, anyway, we got Sebastian Vettel behind us. See, we lost eight seconds to Leclerc. We've not exactly been driving perfectly, uh, but that is mainly down to the tyre temperatures. I don't think we'd have lost quite that much, despite being a little bit distracted in this video, doing no hands and things like that. And so far, we're doing okay, but I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll purposely make these tyres icy cold in this last sector. We'll just do lots of wheel spin where we can't really get overtaken. Just to try and see if we can get them to minus. Oh, we've actually been hit off there by Vettel. I want to try and stay ahead of these guys, but Vettel said no. And we're having a spin, but that's put them to very much minus temperature. Look at that. Minus 56 degrees and minus 172 degrees Celsius. We need to get some speed up in order to get that back. I'm going to try and go, oh God, around the outside. Oh, but the rears are not wanted any of it. This is George Russell. That is the battle for last place. And again, we only lose maximum of 6% grip, so it's not too bad. But let's build up some speed out down this straight to see if we can warm up again. They are not going to warm up quick enough, not the rears. We're going to struggle with this last lap. Try and build up as much speed as we can to get the rolling resistance as high as possible. But still, they're still minus. They are still minus degrees temperature, which is not good. The fronts are kind of almost to a warm state, uh, although that's gone away now. But George Russell, of course, having much less downforce than us, uh, means that we are able to stay ahead of him through that corner. But... I suspect as this lap goes on, he's going to be putting us under pressure, especially with the rears that are a little bit cold. I say a little bit. I mean, minus 60 degrees. <laughs> this wasn't my intention. I was supposed to just, just dip into the minuses, maybe, you know, a little minus 10, uh, and then get back up to speed again to show you guys a minus figure. But I've accidentally lost grip. But again, because we've only got a 6% uh, loss of grip, it's not so bad, even with minus temperatures. Of course, in real life, if your tyres were minus 20 degrees, you're not going to be able to get around a lap there's, there's you know they would they may even form they may even crystallize i would have thought they probably would crystallize at that temperature um and they would they would be effectively literal block, blocks of ice i would have thought um and it would not be good for the longevity of the tire either they wouldn't flex properly and it would be really sp stiffly sprung so there's lots of effects of course a lot of that isn't simulated in this game um again just because you know how how likely is it you're going to be on minus degrees temperature coming out of the final turn at barcelona pretty slim but anyway guys that was a, a bit different for you guys um i had a bit of fun with this um i had quite a lot of fun also making this mod so please do subscribe if you do enjoy this video as i said it took me about two hours to do this mod um and you know lots of looking into kelvin and and what these numbers mean and, and what would happen if it was zero and lots and lots of, of stuff playing around you know I, I tried a few different things like um the um, passage of heat from the outer to the inner of the tire i tried inverting that so that the outer would cool down the inner and vice versa and it it was it was interesting that's for sure um wasn't really good enough to make a video from because it would have just been these weird numbers that again you know we would come again up, up against the game's limits of, of how much grip we would lose so it wouldn't have actually made a big difference but it was, it was interesting nonetheless. I've, I've had fun playing with it, but this is the video we ended up on, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, unfortunately, we couldn't simulate it uh, fully. But anyway, guys, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Uh, oh, before I go, I will actually say, if you do want to try this mod for yourself, get Gilling Gang Premium. Press the join button down below. For £4.99 a month, you can get Gilling Gang Premium. You get access to all of the mods that I make for my channel, including this one. This one will be up within 24 hours of this video going out. So do uh, go and join that if you want to try this mod on PC. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.